Hello and welcome. My name is Maria de Souza. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher and I focus my work on posture. So I teach you how to go about life with good posture so that you keep your back safe and away from back problems, from aches and pains and of course the side effect of good posture is looking good and boosting your self-confidence. So today I'm giving you an exercise to build core strength um, and a, a, a strong core. Now, when I say a strong core, I don't mean a six pack. Um, if you want a six pack, that's okay. Uh, I don't have a problem with that, but I'm not your girl. Um, I don't have a six pack and I don't uh, want a six pack. And that is because um, when we work too much, too hard on our core, we bring stiffness to the core, to the chest, to the rib uh, basket. And when they, um, and this is maybe not everyone, but the people that I see around with six pack, they have a stiff chest, okay? And when the chest is stiff, then is the mobility of the arms is uh, not fluid. And uh, when there is no f fluidity and softness in the, in the torso, in the ribs, every time we move the arms to do something, to reach something from a cupboard, uh, to do anything we strain in the back because the muscles are too hard to allow softness in the movement, to allow fluidity in the movement. So it's important that you have a, a strong core but at the same time softness in the, um, in, the, in, the, in the chest, in the core so that you move with fluidity and the torso is flexible to move to allow the arms to move uh, with ease because the arms are attached to the torso. Every time you move the arms, you're also moving the torso, you're moving the ribs, yeah? So everything here needs to be soft, but we <coughs> need a, uh, a tonus. We need tonus in the, in, the, uh, in the muscles of the core, okay? Uh, but we don't need a six pack. Anyway, but I'm, I'm, nothing wrong about six pack. Uh, now, um, this exercise is on the knees, okay? So you need something soft and your knees. Never do any knee exercise without softness and your knees. You want to protect your kneecaps, you don't want to be creating any uh, wear and tear in the knees. There's no point, okay? Um, I know that in, you see videos around people on the knees or in yoga and pilates without any protection in there in the um, in the knees and that's wrong because that only creates wear and tear in the kneecaps and it's not comfortable okay something else is no shoes again you see short videos in the Instagram or anywhere else um, with people doing floor exercises with shoes on, again, that's wrong, okay? Um, the feet is part of the body. So when you exercise, you need your feet to be part of it. Of it. You need your feet free, you need the toes uh, to be free to participate in a movement. We don't want toes squeeze inside shoes or socks and moving without the feet. J just like we don't use mittens in the hands when we exercise. The same thing, the feet needs to be as free as your hands so that everything, uh, the exercise involves the whole of the body. So there's no point to have shoes on to do any exercise you do on the floor, on the mat. Uh, always do it uh, without shoes. Uh, it's hard enough or it's, 
you know, um, bad enough that we have to wear shoes all day long when we are out and about. So when you are inside doors, it's free, your feet, um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm deviating from the core message of this video, but there we go. And I have other videos where I teach you about the feet and how to take care of your feet. Anyway, let's come back to the core message of this or the core exercise which is the core, uh, exercise for the core. So you need something and you you need, and as, as you see, this is soft already, so I wouldn't necessarily need anything because this is already a thick carpet and so, but still I want something soft under my knees. So you come onto your knees and you bring your hands on the floor. Your knees are hip distance apart and your feet are hip distance apart. Your hands are shoulders distance apart and they reach nicely below your shoulders, okay? So this is quite challenge uh, exercise. Um, so do what you can. Also, this is very challenging for balance. So not, you all, not only you are building core strength, you are all as well working on your balance, improving balance, okay? See how it goes and do what you can. So the hands are on the floor and what you do, you're gonna bring one leg um, back, bring the toes on the floor and then you're gonna lift that leg up and you do this with the breath, breathe in and out. Um, keep the breath free, don't hold the breath and in, every time you're holding the breath you're making things difficult for you because you are straining um, uh, the muscles. The muscles can't move if we, very well if we are holding the breath. So you need to allow the breath to move so that the body and the muscles all move freely and fluidly, okay? With fluidity. fluidity. So, um, you bring the, back, the leg back, uh, toes on the floor, and then you're going to lift the leg and you're going to push the heel away. Imagine, that, imagine there is a wall at the end of your foot and you're pushing that wall away. So the heel is pushing that wall away. The toes point up. The toes don't uh, point up. Um, the, points, the toes point down, I mean. The toes don't point up or anywhere, okay? Down. And you push that heel away. So the leg is strong. The leg is alive. Okay, so the leg is not um, uh, floppy, it's strong. Okay, you push the wall away and have the leg aligned with the pelvis. So you don't want to go higher than the pelvis. More you look down, more or less in line with the pelvis. And you push that uh, wall away. And then, this is where the, cha the, balance, uh, the challenge with balance comes, you're going to lift opposite arm. And the thumb pointing up, the head, um, your eyes are looking down, okay? You don't want to be looking in front of you or anywhere, but down between your hands. You bring your opposite arm in front of you. And here you want to extend the arm as if you want to touch the, the wall in front of you with your fingers. Again, the arm is strong. The arm pulls one way and the leg pulls opposite way. Breathe in and out and you stay here for a few breaths, okay? And then you let go. Take a rest if you need. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you do the other side. Okay, one thing at a time, the leg up and then the arm, you look down, breathe in and out. Okay, so that is quite a challenge. Do what you can and you do this about five times each side if you, if you can. Okay, and that will help to build up um, core strength and toning these muscles here, okay? and improve your balance at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. If this was good for you, give me the thumbs up and distribute it with your friends. And I'll see you at a next video. Bye bye now.